So it's basically the driest year by one of the most important measures on the Rio Grande since we've been keeping records and they go back to the 1890s. We are living through the experience of what climate change means for water in the southwestern United States. And right now there's about 22 miles of river drying down in Socorro County, down through Socorro, down through the Bosque del Apache. There's another couple of miles that's dry up um, in the Isleta reach of the river, through Isleta Pueblo and Valencia County. The only reason the water, the river's wet here in Albuquerque, where we are, is because humans are moving water to meet the needs of the city of Albuquerque, um, the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Utility Authority and the farmers of the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District. Depending on how rainy the monsoon season is, we could see a dry Rio Grande here in Albuquerque by the middle of August, you know. Municipal water users, city water users are going to be okay. And I don't mean to s sound flip about that, but we've done a good job of building a system of municipal water in the western United States, here in Albuquerque in particular and in general, um, in the western United States that's resilient to these kind of climate shocks. We've done a good job at that. If you care about the river in our midst, this is a really sad thing to watch. If you've been down um, to Socorro County and seen a dry riverbed, that's an incredibly sad thing and that's, you know, that's a part of our culture and our heritage, the way you know we built this city around this river. This river is a part of us. And so thinking about how to rethink our management of rivers so we can have a river in our midst seems really important to me, seems really valuable, because with climate change, these challenges only get worse.